Hey everybody, I'm Fry Guy. Welcome back to Friday Nights. If you're having a bad day at school or work or just in general, we'll be here and hang out. Now, tonight I'm playing Limerence. Now, before I get into this, I just want to go ahead and uh, let you guys know that this does have themes of like, um, like suicide and stuff like that. So, um, just more dark, dark themes, so if you're just not into that type of thing, I wouldn't suggest watching this video. Um, I have other things that you can watch, or you can watch somebody else, you know. Um, so, I don't know what this game holds, I just know that it does have some pretty uh, sensitive topics that it could be talking about. So, if you're just not into that, I just want to let you know right now, so just not engage into this video. Um, you know, go watch something positive, or I, like I said, I don't know the, I don't know how deep it'll go, but um, I'm just, I just want to let you know now, so you know, I don't, so you don't get yourself into anything you don't want to get yourself into. But uh, other than that, let's get into it. Start. You're right. Yes, I've been sitting here for five minutes. You haven't touched your dinner. Are you mad at me? Maybe. I slowly return from my dark headspace back to reality, back to the low light of the dining room. Despite the table being fit for a family, it was clear that it uh, only had ever only had only ever been used for two people. I should be able to read better. For them, sitting where their back was facing the window, so light in envelopes or envelopes like them like angels, scratching at skin. And for whatever and for whoever they kept chained to the other side. It's for your own good, you know? I can't be trying to run off, can I? How did I get here? Or perhaps rocking your chair backwards and smashing through the glass of the window. Because then you could get seriously injured, or somehow escape. You don't want me to escape? What would I do without you? Uh, live? Shut up, Aaron. Like when you say my name, I can base it with her back to the window for the eph ooh, ephemeral, ephemeral etheriality. Of the visual of light rays surrounding them like a saint. I just learned two words. The dome had a pretty imagery could disguise their evil actions. Tonight they cooked chicken lined with rice and vegetables that I had watched them chop up minutes before. I don't know, but I have a strange feeling it's not chicken. The knives for the kitchen are separate from the ones they use for flesh. But once again, I have a feeling it's not chicken. Never once in my life I'd have been envious of a blade, all the slick cuts and the echoing sounds between the air and the cutting board. Until now, of course. I tugged at the cuffs on my wrist that kept me restrained to the table. Hey, you're staring again. You should eat up. You need the strength for later. What's later? What's gonna happen later? Please, I'll be nicer on you with the blade. Uh, hey, hey, hey. What do you mean? You giving me a haircut? Look, 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 look. The last thing I need is a haircut, okay? I think that's the last thing I need. Why is your grass so tall? Like, I, 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 we could be in like a one-story house or something, but the grass is extremely tall over there. I, that's mildly concerning. You're doing that so nobody can spot someone's escape. I reach my right hand up to my neck and choke my fingers over it skin of my collarbone, covered in bruises and newly formed scars from slashes across bone. Ouch. You promise I ever lied to you? I don't know, I just got here two minutes ago. No, but you misled me. That is the purpose of delusion, is it not? To only in my nature, like it is your nature to despise me. I wish you didn't. We've been getting to know each other very well over the last few days. Oh, I've been here for three days. Nice. I knew nothing about them, but anything that I have not said of my own volition has been cut out of me. But enough of my ramblings. Eat. Do I have the option to not eat? I gestured the plate the plate in front of me, accompanied by water and a plastic cup and fork. I hesitated before picking up the utensil. I tried again. Take myself out of my own accord. They might punish me for even thinking. Mm. Yeesh. Okay. Um, quick another warning, if you didn't listen to my previous warning, um, this has dark themes in it, so if you're just not into that type of stuff, do not watch this video. I'm gonna stop myself. Attempt! Take a deep breath, pull my arms back of the chain to let me. I stop myself right in the throat. Or at least I tried. It's not like a 
read the needle on the skin and nothing more. Felt the fork and put my neck, begging for a wound. Wasn't even bleeding. Darn. You didn't try hard enough. Darn. Aren't you cute? You already tried that on our first time. Don't you remember that the tools are plastic? <sighs> Did I just try? <sighs> what? <laughs> if I'd have known it was plastic, I wouldn't have attempted it in the first place. <laughs> You're gonna try to stab your neck with a plastic fork. Oh, that was smart. I don't think I trust you with metal or wooden tools, do you? Uh, the wood sounds painful. No. It didn't work the first time. Did you think it would again? I didn't know it was plastic, so... I mean... Hey. No. Poor, poor thing. We'll deal with this later. Now we can rub that tongue of yours out and make it the last thing you've ever tasted. You might as well, because... I hate you. I'd miss hearing you talk. Uh, not my problem. Pick up the fork again, hesitating. Without another word, I'll be in here. You didn't give me the option to eat or to not eat. That kinda sucks. The worst thing about Aaron, or Aaron, besides the relationship with them torturing me for our amusement, was the fact that they were good at cooking. Darn, such wasted skill. I can't even lie, say it was, uh, it was disgusting. The chicken and rice was schmack. They would never eat their own work. Once again, I would like to state the assumption that it is probably not chicken. Okay. I always put out a plate and silverware at their chair and never touch the setup. They told me that they didn't have to eat. I wonder why. Those were red eyes of theirs. Why do you even sit here and watch me if you're gonna eat with me? It's to make you more comfortable. Don't call me that. That's that's not what's going on here. Okay? No no way, no way would I ever willingly go to somebody's house whose grass is ten feet tall. Okay. Tinted red windows. Like, like what? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, it's because comfort comes in bruised ankles and chain wrists. My guy, my guy. Common sense. It's just weird. To me, it feels right. Dinner isn't just about food. It's also about the conversation and the experiences and the experience. Well, uh, I eat to live, not live to eat. So. I don't agree with that. I think it's something much more sinister. Really? You find something sinister within eating? I think it's... I don't even think this is... This is a twisted mind. I think this is just delusion. Overthinking, you know? How, how would you think of something sinister by eating food? Something you have to do. Was that red stuff under your eyes the whole time? I think they'd watch me in Glee. With eyes lighting up like flames. Watch me indulge in the only pleasure I have besides sleep. I smirk as I struggle to bring the fork to my lips, both from the shackle and from the feeling of past pain. Darn. Is it good? It's always good. I don't need me to tell you that. I reach for the water and slowly drink. The cold stuck in my throat. Dang. Probably shouldn't have tried to stab yourself with a plastic fork. At least try harder. I'm glad. That I didn't mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. I'm sorry. I'm glad. I'd like to see you happy. Why won't you let me go? Killing me, Aaron. You smile and leave a temporary piece of the dining table because you know how I feel about every other room in this sprawling heck. The fear that prickles my neck that you'll plunge our surprise blade in my back and collect the pooling blood to keep in jars. They have a. They possibly have jars of blood in their house I see what I need to understand is how did you get in this situation in the first place like what if you was just chilling in your house you know you was just you was eating some nachos you was playing the game on like the Xbox or the PlayStation or the PC you was just vibing right and then all of a sudden you get like you wake up and you're here I, I need a little more need a little more context into why I arrived here in the first place. I enjoy seeing you happy, but I enjoy seeing you cry much, much more. See, I think this is uh I think this can only end one way. And that's if uh you die. There's a pride to it, even for being like me, the pride of knowing of cut up your body. 
just cut up your body, skin like a canvas, and turn you into the most beautiful artwork that you will ever grace my gallery. Is that all I am to you? Really? Just a prop to go up into your everlasting gallery of horrible blood stench and almost ruby red color schemes. Is that what this is? Is that all I am, really? Wow. Huh. I think we learned a lot today. Tonight. Uh, it could be daytime, I don't know. Your red tinted windows aren't showing me otherwise. But, I think we learned a lot. You suck, first of all. First and foremost. You, you, you're trash. You're garbage, alright? You're garbage. Making me eat chicken and rice with a plastic fork? How does that even work? You're literally like, you can't even cut up the chicken. And oh my gosh, if it'd be fried chicken, you're not getting that thing open. You're not cutting that thing up. Might as well stab it in the middle and eat it like it's a giant meatball or something. I caused, hey, oh, I caused those. I thought you said cows. I'm like, I want to learn a new word. I caused those tears and I can just e easily wipe them away. That's why I'm killing you for the beauty. Hmm. You see why you shouldn't have just ate? Like, sure, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a tongue anymore. Sure, great. But, I mean, you're not giving them what they want. And that's kind of the, 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 the thing to do here, okay? Don't eat. Slowly away your death. For the begging, for the pleading that I've heard from hundreds of before you. Hundreds. Really, hundreds. So you've done this hundreds of times before. So I'm nobody special. Right. You, you, you're, you're a dumpster fire, you know that? I love you, you know that. I, I don't even care about the ominous music in the background. You're a dumpster fire. Don't even look at me like that. You're a dumpster fire, okay? A raging, burning dumpster fire of a being, whatever you are. You're different, though. You survive longer than most. You have a vigor and fire, not fighting spirit. Those I do have, I think. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, don't even say that. You're, you're telling yourself that. Because I'm not listening. Talk to the hand, because the face ain't listening. Was that it? Really? Was that it? Is that all? I will say the scariest part of this game is this whole thing right here. Like this, I don't know, it's unsettling. Huh. Well then, that's Limerent. What a fire game. Um, I'm definitely going to leave the link to this game in the description below so you guys can check it out. This was dope. Um... A second game possibly I'd support this all the way definitely um that was, that was interesting that was interesting not 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 a horror game I've played before a lot of the horror games you know I played are just more so like oh we're gonna scare you or oh, we're gonna spook you you know and it's like oh oh, oh uh, big tension and uh, 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 you know adrenaline and stuff this one was just like you're kind of just talking, getting into the mind of somebody, you know? You're not, you're not really seeing anything that's gonna, like, you're not seeing anything sur you're not seeing anything surreal. You're not seeing anything out of the norm ish, I guess. I mean, like, it, like obviously this is fiction, but I'm like, a lot of the horror games you can see be, like, different entities and stuff, you know? Abnormal beings and stuff. That's what a lot of game, horror games have or consist of. This one was this one was just like eerie, you know. And this whole thing right here, I'd say, is the scariest part of the game. And that's not crapping on the game. Like this is just genuinely unsettling. Um, I'm gonna do one more thing though. I wanna see if it changes the outcome. Uh, I I have two options. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, yeah, they started smiling like that. Okay, so there's one point where I, could, I have two options. It's where I try to stab myself with a fork, or I just eat the food. 
I don't know if that changes. I don't know if that changes anything. Okay, okay, I think right here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to leave it alone and see whether it wasn't worth trying without another word of the ending. Okay, okay, it's the same thing. It's the same. What is this? History. Huh? Quick saves. Automatic saves. Yeah, it's a short game. It's a short game. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is more of like a pause thing. Okay, okay. We'll go back to the main menu. Yeah, yeah, okay. I just wanted to see if there's anything there. Um, doesn't seem like it though, but that was Zorance. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I sure did. It was quite a different experience, honestly. And uh, like I said, again, I'll leave the link for if you get the game if you want to play it yourself. Um, or check it out to see, you know, if they have any other things that they're working on. The creator that has any other things working on, you guys can definitely check it out. And, uh, yeah, this was good. This was really awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one.